and Perry Blair Community Reporters. We're here this morning to visit the Buzz headquarters uh, in Fallowfield to discuss with the staff their involvement with the Buzz organisation. Manchester. Um, the service has quite a number of different streams. Uh, we have a one-to-one -one service and that aims to work with individuals, particularly around things like mental health, around healthy eating uh, and uh, around physical activity as well. So that's very much about helping people to achieve the goals that they want uh, to improve their own lives. Uh, in addition to that, we also have a community development uh, uh, stream to the service and that's very much working with communities, helping communities to be more resilient, uh, connecting the sort of health assets that are within those communities uh, and very much strengthening communities to be able to, to help individuals to improve their own health. Uh, in addition we have uh, the oral health improvement team. This is a non-clinical service that aims to improve the, the dental health and oral health of people within Manchester. We also have a physical activity referral service uh, and the idea of this service is very much uh, to work with people with long-term conditions uh, uh, in order to help them to do more physical activity. Underpinning all this we have the Knowledge Service. The Knowledge Service uh, is uh, a service which really aims to improve the knowledge uh, that uh, we are able to offer to individuals within Manchester to help them to improve their own health. It also looks at the communications aspects of the service uh, and most importantly we also have an administrative function uh, and this is, is obviously to uh, ensure the smooth running of the service on a day-to-day -day basis. Some of the things I'm involved in include public health courses such as Boost Health and Wellbeing course for individuals who want to gain tools to help them pr uh, promote their personal wellbeing. And Connect Five, a course for people who work with members of the community to help them take skills to improve mental health and wellbeing. Other things my job entails include working in partnership with organisations and networks in Manchester to provide a cohesive approach to health and well-being, mapping of assets in communities in Manchester for improving people's health, and organising and facilitating health checks in community venues in Manchester, amongst many other duties. Um, 
we're trying to improve brushing across the city, tooth brushing. So we have a, a, a supervised tooth brushing program that's run in schools and short start centres um, and um, private nurseries. We also um, have some fluoride interventions. We run a, a dental milk program across our primary schools in the city. And we also um, have a dental uh, access program called Buddy Practice, where we link a local dentist with a local school, uh, trying to address some of the uh, access issues that some of our families experience. Um, we work with a lot of um, uh, people within the community, um, and we're looking to address oral health needs uh, and the best way in which to do that.
us and um, we work one-to-one -one with individuals and what we do is we help encourage them and support them uh, in making a lifestyle change. Um, it's not prescriptive, so we're not about telling people what to do, so we'll work with the clients and help them identify a change that they might want to make and give them support in doing that. Um, and that could cover quite a range of things. Uh, it might be around physical activity, increasing that. Um, it might be about healthy eating. Uh, it might be about um, increasing um, social opportunities. Uh, a lot of people are quite isolated. Um, so introducing them to a group uh, with other people who might share similar interests. Uh, it's something that we could help support people with. Um, there's quite a lot of people with mental health issues, so uh, we have quite a holistic uh, approach. Um, can also um, support people with uh, help around quitting smoking or awareness around alcohol issues. Um, if somebody's quite um, nervous uh, about maybe engaging in an activity for the first time, uh, we can accompany them to that activity uh, and for some people breaking that barrier down is, uh, can be a real achievement for them. Um, it's surprising how many people there are who have quite a level of anxiety. Uh, if they go to the GP, uh, they may only have like five to minutes to spend with um, that patient. So, um, being able to just sometimes sit and uh, talk with somebody and have somebody to um, do air your concerns with some people, listen to you, that in itself can be um, quite um, beneficial to somebody's mental health. Um, and I have had some clients who have um, maybe uh, come to me with multiple difficulties. Uh, but sometimes just taking one step can pave the way forward to a, a better state of mental and physical health. Um, for example, uh, one client who I've been working with recently uh, who had quite, um, quite bad sort of mental health issues. Um, we identified one of his interests as being around art, um, so he uh, joined a, a, an art group um, that I signposted him into and he really enjoyed that, he was able to really engage with that. He said it made him feel much more confident and that after that group he, he felt uplifted and because of that he felt he had the confidence to uh, join a, a, a local gym and uh, went, went there and, and started doing a lot more exercise which in turn helped his his weight. So so you know one step can actually sort of escalate and, and, and make a sort of positive change just in the same way that sometimes uh, things going wrong can, can sort of knock you down. It doesn't always take a lot to, to build you up. So really our service is about supporting people in, in making those changes um, and say it is on a one-to-one -one basis. Sometimes we can meet with people and it's just a one-off uh, information session and sometimes uh, it can be up to, to 10 sessions and it would be according to that client's needs uh, and really it's about just helping people find that little bit of joy in their life uh, and, and gain confidence and self-esteem and um, hopefully being been happier and also physically and um, helping prevent people from getting those um, conditions like diabetes and heart disease uh, and, uh, and helping them be healthier. And oh, well, is there any way of contacting Buzz? Yeah, so we have, we have a web address um, which is www.buzzmanchester.co.uk if people go to that web address, uh, they'll find out a lot more about the service, but they'll also be able to fill in a contact form under the Contact Us link on there. 
We also have a Twitter account which is at Buzz Mank, that's M-A-N-C, uh, and if people add us uh, to that Twitter account, they can tweet us at Buzz Mank, and we'll be able to get back in touch with them.